Hi, this is Dr. Rebecca and you clicked on this video because you were wondering what is the body code all about? And this is from my perspective on how I use the body code in order to facilitate to an enhance your healing process every day. What the body code is, it is a mind map. I will put a picture of a mind map over here. It is a mind map of the entire body, physically, energetically, and chemically. And we use this mind map to, and we relate it to who you are energetically. So we use your essence, your soul, and we see how it responds to a stimulus. So whenever you see something that you like, you feel excited, you feel open, you feel good about it. So you do it. Whenever you don't want to do something or it looks not in your best interest, you close off, you turn and you avoid or you not avoid in a bad way, but you don't want to go in that direction. And this is exactly what plants do. You just look in nature for all the answers. Okay. That's what I'm all about. This is what plants do. They grow towards the light and they stay away from the darkness. So this is what I do. I use muscle testing in order to see which way you should be growing and with what stimulus. So you are a plant. You are growing always. Your hair is growing, your eyebrows are growing, you are fertile. Probably majority of who's watching this are female, maybe some males, I don't know. Um, but let me know your gender down below, I guess. Or maybe there's some analytics I can do to see that. I don't know. But yeah, so I see if you respond well or if you don't like something by muscle testing like this. And see, this is a yes, this is a no. This is growing. This is, this is stagnation. This is growing. This is stagnation. So, hmm, can I do that? I could probably put an example of the body code right here. You know what? I'm going to do that for you right now, actually. I'm going to do an example. I'm going to do a body code session on myself for you right now. So, this is the mind map that I use energetic testing, mus muscle testing, uh, to see how you respond to things. So I am highly trained in muscle testing, highly trained in wellness and health. And I bring all this together in order to coach you to hold your hand as you grow into your beautiful flower self. Okay. So yes, the best way to show you is through an example on what I do. So I'm going to test myself for any imbalances. And I'm going to make sure that my name is Rebecca because I've been doing healing sessions all of for a couple hours now. So I just want to make sure that I am just me. I'm not connected to all the energy of everybody else. So my name is Rebecca. My name is Dr. Rebecca. Yes. Hi, my name is Dr. Rebecca. So, and I'm going to go through any imbalance. This is getting real personal. <laughs> any imbalances that I find on myself. All right. <clears throat> Let's see, is there any imbalances on the left, on the right? Yes. Is it a pathogen? It's a misalignment. Oops, okay. Is it on the left? It's on the right. Is it a system? It's the skeleton. Is it appendicular skeleton? Okay, yes. It's the lower limb. It's on the left, it's on the right, it's the pelvis. It's the foot. It's on the left, it's on the right. It's the medial phalange. This makes a lot of sense because <laughs> I just took a weekend trip to Joshua Tree and I just did five hours of walking one day, 
three hours walking the next day. Is this on the right foot? It's on the left foot. This makes sense. This makes a lot of sense. Okay, so I have an imbalance here. Do I need an adjustment? No. Do I need a massage? I need a massage. I need to go get a foot massage. Okay, I'm gonna go get a foot massage. No problem. Should I get my nails done? No. I wanna go get my toenails done. <laughs> All right. I guess no harsh chemicals on the toes, just a massage. Okay. Um, deep tissue? Yes, deep tissue massage. Um, should I use, it's on my medial phalanges. Can I see which um, medial phalange? I already know because I can't remember which one it was. Um, is it the second? It's the third. Yeah, it's the third. It's because I, I, I broke my foot once and I broke two toes before on this one side. So my pressure on the left foot is uneven. So that's why I have an imbalance on that toe. And I was just rubbing it earlier, but apparently I need some real deep tissue um, on that area. Is there any other imbalances associated with this? Yes. Okay. Is it on the left? It's an energy. It's on the left. On the right, is it? Okay, there's an emotional. There's an emotion stuck in my body. Let's see. It's a trapped emotion. Trapped emotion. It's on the left. On the right. Oh, it's a shared trap emotion. Damn, is this going to get really personal? Was this with the person I was hanging out with? Yes. Oh, I don't want to put this online. Let's see where this goes. Let's see where this goes. Okay. Is it on the left? It's on the right. Is it on the top? It's on the bottom. Is it conflict, creative insecurity? It's unsupported. Hmm. Unsupported. So... My friend who I was hanging out with, apparently we both felt unsupported and that makes sense with a foot imbalance as well. And it's sad to think that we both feel unsupported, but being unsupported is an illusion. And I do remember feeling, um, yeah, it makes sense because I did feel something. So, yeah, so this is exactly what I would go through with, with, with you. And be, be, being, um, the, the idea of being unsupported is an illusion. It's not real. You are always supported. Um, The universe is always going to provide for you. So it's just, it's not real. Uh, so yes, the feeling of unsupported is, any feeling is meant to come to you for a reason. It's meant to show you and to grow your soul. So the feeling of being unsupported is real. It's not fake but it's transitory it moves through you to change who you are it's the feeling of unsupported shows you where you need more support and how you can support another person so it, it comes to you for a reason and it how amazing is it to have the feeling of being unsupported in order to feel more supported, like super supported. Like maybe, like in the past, I've, I've cleared out unsupported from people who just don't feel supported by the universe, but maybe after being supported by the world, like the world is on your side, maybe the next layer is feeling supported by your friends, by your family, by your lover. like. There is always a new level of being supported, of exchanging mutual support and creating a great foundation, right? 
So there are layers. This is an endless growing stream of life, okay? With always new avenues and new ways to explore and to be a better person, just to be a human, all right? To move with the tides of the world, of the world. <laughs> all right, is there any other imbalances associated with this? No. So this is one sector, it's done. So I have been having um, a little foot pain on the medial aspect. So I assume that me going to get that deep massage on my feet is really going to help um, with, my pain is only about like a one or a two, but I've been doing a lot of hiking and it makes sense because of my previous past. But now I can tell my massage therapist exactly where I need her to do a deep, deep tissue massage. And this is so powerful. And I knew this honestly all along. And this is also very powerful. I knew this all along, but bringing it to the surface, because I, I was rubbing my feet earlier and, and I noticed on my medial phalange that that was a tender spot and I needed to rub it out. But then I was going about my day. But actually doing this muscle testing and bringing it out is like, now I can see it, I can look at, look at it from an outside perspective and be able to take action steps upon it. And that's the beauty of the body code and to have healing sessions with me and to book my seasonal wellness prescription with me. Because as the seasons change, we need to be able to change on the inside and adapt with the seasons. This is my, this is my, natural way of keeping you healthy throughout the year is really going and adapting with nature's tides, winds, movements, and helping you transition with each season. So go ahead and check out all of my other videos on seasonal wellness as well. Let's see, just so you have more an example. Um, Let's see, just so you have more of an example, is there any other imbalances I need to clear out? No, so I'm, I'm balanced, yay. But let's see what else I can show you. Now, I want to see, um, is there any herb that will be beneficial to me right now? Yes, let's see. So I'm gonna go to herbs and spices right now let's see is it on the top it's on the bottom is it on the left it's on the right is it in c it's in d is it four is it five is it this is oh it's vanilla it's vanilla vanilla is the integration of masculine and feminine coming together and then being together i just did a video on this because that's what i'm working on right now <laughs> that's what i'm resolving inside of myself is um, this integration point. So yeah, there's always going to be a specific herb for you. There's also, there's so many things that we can test and I go through a step-by-step -step process. Um, so go ahead and book some sessions with me. And this is the body code, just a little example. It brings to light everything that you're actually feeling on the inside. And with the hustle and the bustle of everyday life, this brings a clear, concise way for you to stay healthy, wealthy, and bright. If you have any questions or you would like me to go even to further detail on this or would like for me to do a full example on someone that's super imbalanced, um, let me know in the comments down below. One last thing I wanted to say about the body code is that whenever there is a physical imbalance, the energy can get stuck more often. So if there's a feeling that normally arises, it can get stuck and not be able to process because there's an actual physical blockage. It should just be able to run right through your body. And also it goes the other way around. If your ego um, is holding onto an emotion because it is afraid of what fully expressing it will do, um, or you can actually create a physical imbalance in that matter. And the link between the physical and the emotional is the chemical. And that's how cancers, metabolic problems, 
immune problems, pain. That's how it all manifests um, when all these physical, energetic, and chemical are not completely aligned. All right, I just wanted to add that in there so that you can fully understand my technique. Have any questions, you can look at my website down below or you can send me an email and I say if you're going to send me an email, I need to be upfront. I do not answer to all of my emails. I selectively respond to emails, so don't be so don't send me an email if you're not seriously inquiring about anything and don't take it seriously. Thank you.